All right, folks, but you guys, idiot, we are back from Criminal Case on Facebook. It's been two weeks, we get a new case, and we are all stoked to get on with this. Now, they actually added this new thing called Sticker um, Collection. We'll go over that a little bit um, in like chapter two or chapter three. But right now, let's head on to the next case. Twist of Fate. Hey Ace, we learned that Samra is kidnapping orphans from all over Asia. Her last major operation took place right here in Beijing, so I want you and Archer too. Um, Chief, I hate to say the obvious, but it's late. I'm sure even the big bad Samra doesn't work overtime. How about Ace and I check out the Great Wall before we get down to business? It'd be a shame to come all this way and miss it. <sighs> Need to remind you that you are a mission, not a vacation, Archer. But I suppose I could spare you for one evening. Enjoy the Great Wall, Ace, but keep an eye out for suspicious activity while you're there. Great, Archer, you're probably gonna get us into trouble. Now let's, uh, pretty, uh, pretty gr brutal. the victim. Okay, so I saw panda as an option. There's a tiger, dress, Chinese flag, and a wallet. Wow, there's not that many clues. There's only two. Interesting. Can't we just do one evening of sightseeing without you tripping over a dead body? Well, you don't have to be a genius to figure out this guy's been suffocated with a plastic bag. That means we've got another murder on our hands. Chief Ripley will not be pleased. Feels like every time our investigation is on progresses, another murder investigation gets in the way. Anyway, this plastic bag is clearly a murder weapon. What a way to go. And well spotted, the victim's missing a glove. Well, that's weird. Why would anyone want to steal a glove? You also picked up the victim's wallet. No doubt that'll give us an ID to work with. Let's look inside. Looks like he's part of a gang, I don't know. Weird. Um, but anyways guys, I gotta grab some stars. I'll be right back. Let's be genius, idiot. Au revoir. All right, folks, grab some stars. Let's finish this off. Until he tells me I'm gonna have to find something and then do some more stuff. Yep. What did you find in the victim's wallet, Ace? According to this, the ID, the victim's name is Feng Shen. What name doesn't ring any bell? These torn pieces from his wallet should tell us more about this Chang guy. Let's save him up. Looks like he's kind of uh, a big deal. found the victim's wallet as a receipt from a restaurant nearby. Then the victim ate pecking duck just before his death is hardly a killer lead ace. Are you think someone from the restaurant might have been the last person to see him alive? Well, according to this receipt, Chang was served by a waitress named Chico, and he gave her quite the tip. Think it's worth having a chat with Chico Ace? Well, let's go. So we don't wanna so we don't wanna look around the place? I think we will. Oh cool, dragon bangle. Hey, Miss Sugata. Senior Troop Race is here to ask about the individual you served named Feng Shen. We found him murdered. I'm hardly surprised, Senior Troop Race. Everyone knew Chang earned his money by dubious means. What do you mean by that? Well, Chang ran a gang of pickpockets. He took in kids and gave them shelter in exchange for the goods they stole from tourists. I'm guessing it was pretty lucrative. He never hesitated to splash the cash. Anyway, I'm afraid there's something more I can tell you, Senior Trooper Ace. Chang was just a regular here at the restaurant. I didn't know him on a personal level. That's false. That's false. 
You're right, Ace. Check this at the victim a year regularly, so we should take a look around. Anyways, I'm always up for food. Let's investigate this restaurant terrace. I'll bet you they were in a relationship. Sounds like the MO. So we got oh, obviously a glove and a photo I see. So we also see a dog, photo, and the watch is new. It's not something I've seen. Let's go turtle, exit sign. Where's the watch? Well, scorpion kebab wasn't quite what I envisaged when you suggested we check out the food ace. You've been busy grabbing clues while I was ordering. Excuse me for wanting to sample the local cuisine. But um, I'll pass on the kebab. So what have you found? Dude, this watch must be worth a fortune. There seems to be something written on the inside lid. I'll grab your Justin kit so you can recover the writing. And check out this old picture. That's our victim. But he looks at least 10 years younger. I wonder who the kid is. You must be much older by now. Perhaps you can find a match in the database, Ace. Oh, and why don't you grab that glove? Oh wait, you're right. The victim was missing a glove when we found his body. This looks exactly like the one he was wearing. We better vacuum up his table with pedals and glove. It could be just the clue we need. Okay, we got a lot of clues on this one. Once it's known that watch you found, say Ace, the message reads to my dear wife, Yoon. May we continue to prosper and was signed by our victim. Well, we better break the news of her husband's death to this Yoon, Ace. Interesting. Like a missing tooth? Feel free to comment in the description down below, guys, because uh, I may respond to them. Yeah, missing two seems to be a clue here. Um, but yeah, you guys are all talking about spoken mirrors. I did that. Hey, the kid in that picture of the victim is named Bye Bye, and he's now 18. But that's all we have on him. Luckily, Monsieur Archer, you can determine much from a name alone. My wife's parents were almost most likely illiterate, suggesting he is from a very poor background. Indeed, the expression bye bye means in vain in Chinese. His parents probably did not see having an infant in such circumstances as blessing. Not only would bye bye have been an, an extra mouth to feed, a strict one child policy was also enforced in China for many years, requiring parents to pay a fine if they had more than one child. Parents unable to afford these fines sometimes abandoned their children at a young age. If Five was photographed with your victim, I imagine this was the case. This only means the survival may have been joining a gang. It sounds like the kid had a tough life, and I bet it didn't get any easier if he was recruited by Chang. But we better go ask Five Five about his relationship with our victim ace. Yep. Looks like there's something devious going on there. He's like all my stars here, man. This is crazy. We got one of those petals from on the victim's glove ace. Send them to Lars. Yep, missing two is definitely, I think, part of it. Hey, Miss Fang, I'm afraid some trooper ace is here to inform you that your husband has been murdered. My husband is dead? But who will fund my shopping trips now? It takes a lot of money to look this classy, senior trooper ace. I'll never be able to afford the Hollywood smile my dentist promised me. You realize your husband was funding your lifestyle with the proceeds of crime. Well, a little pickpocketing never hurt anybody. These tourists can't afford to lose a few valuables. Besides, 
It's all for a good cause. Me. Wow, I think Jane's victims might disagree. Don't go too far, Yoon. Senior Trooper Ace might want to talk to you again later. She looks like she's high maintenance and drama. Hey, bye bye. My friend Senior Trooper Ace is here to inform you that Fang Cheng has been killed. We gather you've known him since you were young. Cheng is dead? That means a lot of kids are gonna have to go hungry tonight. Cheng was the closest thing any of, us, any of us ever had to a father, even if we did it steal for him. So you really were part of Cheng's gang? It was more like a family. It was better than anything I had before. Even when our real parents were alive, they wanted nothing to do with me. It wasn't like that with Cheng. For us street kids, there's nothing more valuable than someone having your back, no matter what you have to do in exchange. Well, be that as it may, if Senior Trooper Ace catches you stealing, we'll have no choice but to place you under arrest. We'll keep an eye on you. Bye bye. My guess, I guess, is he might have killed the guy just so that he could take over kind of like the racket. Anyways, because I like to get these cases out, we'll spend some hard earned cash. Hey, Ace, April and June have a joke for you. Knock, knock. Well, who's there? Yell. Yellow. Yellow petals. Ah, that's what Ace sent us. Ooh. Okay, girls, you haven't quite perfected your knock-knock jokes. Anyways, Ace, these yellow puddles on the victim's gloves come from a chrys chrysanthemum flower. The seven flowers commonly used in East Asia to make chrysanthemum tea. And his mommy said the victim hadn't drunk any cr cr chrysanthemum tea. It must have come from your killer. So our killer drinks chrysanthemum tea. Well, you'll soon serve them a steaming hot cup of justice, Ace. Gosh darn right. Hello, Ace. May have just been helping me with autopsy your victim. Tell Ace what you found, darling. Uh, I would not have my kid in an autopsy room, but that's not my job. Well, Ace, I can tell that your victim was suffocated with a plastic bag. Aren't you a little young to be doing this, kiddo? Besides, Ace had already figured that out. I wasn't finished. Your victim was also poisoned before he was killed. Poison? Yeah, the victim smoked a cigar poisoned with camphor. It's just like mommy always tells us, smoking kills. And that's exactly what I told daddy and uncle Jack when I caught them smoke. So, so camphor poisoning, you say? Why would someone poison the victim if they plan to suffocate them anyways, Angela? Well, in large doses, Camphor uses lethargy and disorientation. My guess is that the killer poisoned your victim so he couldn't put up a fight. But for someone to know this, it means they must have studied traditional Chinese medicine. So our killer knows traditional Chinese medicine. Well, Ace, we'll soon be prescribing them a hefty prison sentence. You gosh darn right. Ugh, smoking. Mm, I like smoking. Not for me. Let's recap, Ace. We've got a gang leader who's poisoned and then suffocated. His wife, Yoon, didn't seem too distraught by his murder. She seemed more concerned about the impact on her finances. And the kid who was part of Chang's gang of pickpockets, Bye Bye, seemed upset. Though, the victim was apparently like a father to him. Some kind of family that must have been. Hello, Senior Trooper Ace. Fancy seeing you here. Sanjay is back. Who's Sanjay? How'd you get here from Tibet? Sorry, I can't stop and chat. There's something happening at the Summer Palace and I've got to be there. See ya. Kid, wait up. Nice. Fun to see Sanjay back. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next chapter where we meet up with Sanjay. It's been 58. Over and out.